Hello everyone, Justin here from Tame Type 1, and today I'd like to make a short, quick video for, this might be preaching the crowd a little bit for your experienced IBEX, but for those newly initiated, for those new to low carb, and for those who just might not know yet, might not have tried it, I want to present to you a new mantra. A new mantra that I'm inventing right here and now tonight, and that is, do not trust the cauliflower crust. Now what does this mean? Of course, when you go low carb, you know, one of the most amazing things you now have to say goodbye to is pizza. Uh, pizza is honestly one of my favorite foods. Even if I can't eat it now, it still is. It's just an amazing food. I've always loved it. And pizza is one of those things that is just so dang good. But the crust, the crust is made of flour. It's made of wheat. And that crust is going to make your blood sugar skyrocket. Even if you get the thin stuff, thick stuff doesn't matter. It's going to make your blood sugar go up too much, and now you have to just say no to it, or be that guy at the party that eats just toppings. I've done it plenty of times. Not, not as enjoyable as eating like an actual pizza, though, right? But, wow, good news. Now all these uh, grocery stores, such as Kroger's, such as Costco, um, I've even seen an Aldi, and a lot of uh, food chains, such as Blaze, Rapid Fire, um, some other places, Donato's, for example, now they're offering a cauliflower crust. Now, you'd think this would be great news, right? Because when we think of cauliflower, we think of the low-carb vegetable cauliflower, the keto-friendly cauliflower, the white floret that doesn't t make up a ton of carbs, and you can eat some of it, and it's not going to raise your blood sugar much. You just need some more insulin or whatever it is, and it's great. It's a great low-carb alternative to potatoes, for example. Not in this case. It's not a good low-carb alternative at all, unfortunately. And I'll explain why. See, and this is true about every cauliflower crust, by the way. Every cauliflower pizza you see, whether it's Blaze, whether it's at the grocery store, Call Power, whatever you see, I've not seen a single exception to what I'm about to talk about here. And that is, the cauliflower crust is not low-carb. Cauliflower is low-carb. Cauliflower crust, not low-carb, unfortunately. Now, why is that? Well, have you ever tried to make cauliflower crust before? Uh, I have. I have. With cauliflower. And it doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. You need more than just cauliflower to make decent pizza crust because it's a vegetable. And vegetables don't come together like a uh, flour does, right? Like a, like a wheat normal pizza crust would, like a dough. It just doesn't come together like that. So what these companies do to make a so-called cauliflower crust is they use some cauliflower, true, but they also use things like rice bran flour, such as tapioca starch, all these different very high carb ingredients to make the pizza crust actually platable, actually kind of like a crust, actually crunchy and good tasting and all this other stuff. And I don't know if you heard that there, rice flour, tapioca starch, red flag, red flag, right? That's a very high carb ingredient. Rice, high carb. Flour, high carb. Rice flour, probably pretty high carb. Tapioca starch, starch, potatoes, going to be pretty high carb. And that's actually the bulk of the pizza. Now, they also add cauliflower to it, but that's just sort of a marketing thing, it seems like, unfortunately. So if you actually look at the ingredients, that's what you see. And if you actually look at the nutrition label, it reflects that. You look at the nutrition label, it's not low carb at all. and of course, they don't really advertise as low carb to their credit. They don't say it's keto. They don't say it's low carb. And that right there should raise a red flag for you. But they do say it's gluten free. Well, sorry, dear viewers, but what we're not, what we're worried about here isn't really gluten, although we are just by default avoiding it just because we don't eat bread. What we're trying to avoid is tons of carbs. And if you actually look at the nutrition label where it gives the carbohydrates per serving, that cauliflower cost, for example, is around 28 grams a serving. Typically, you won't eat less than like 10 grams a meal, if you can do that. 10 to 15, right? Probably less. I eat probably around almost zero grams of carbs a meal. So eating something that's 28 grams per serving? No bueno. That's just way too many carbs. And the experience adds out. I, many others, we try this cauliflower crusting. It's low carb, and our blood sugars rocket up, and they sort of stick up there too because of the cheese and the other toppings in there. So it's just a no-go. It's no good. The only kind of pizza crust that's really going to be low-carb are ones that actually advertise as being ketogenic, 
as being low carb. They're not going to have these flours in it. They're not going to have tapioca starch. And they're probably not going to be cauliflower. Again, I've not seen a single cauliflower pizza crust that's actually low carb. Just gluten free or slightly less carbs. It's not enough. It's not enough. So be wary of that. I'm sure a lot of you might already know about this, but in case you didn't, just be sure if you see cauliflower crust on the menu, don't get your hopes up. I know, it's unfortunate. Uh, you want to have some pizza. You want to just be normal for once. Oh my goodness, I love pizza so much and I miss it. But sadly, the cauliflower crust is not going to be what saves the day for you. It's still going to make your blood sugar up and you just have to say no to it. And I'll leave it at that. Now, we're still going to be relegated, unfortunately, to eating pizza, just the toppings with our friends, or, you know, get those pizza bowls that they have at uh, Marco's or Papa John's or whatever it is. Those aren't so bad, but dang it, we missed the crust. But hey, that's a sacrifice you to make for uh, taming your type 1 diabetes and being able to live a long, healthy life despite the disability that we all have. I'll leave it at that, though. Y'all keep taming your type 1, and remember this mantra, do not trust the cauliflower crust.